Hey, this is Steve from RWB Moto. Thank you very much for joining my channel. If it's your first time here, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If you're a returning visitor, thank you very much. It's my honor to be able to share with you today what we're going to be talking about. And we're going to be talking about daytime running lights and nighttime lights on the sports bike or any bike. So stay tuned. Okay, so you would have seen that I have fitted a number of lights to this bike and I didn't do it for fun. I done it because I live in the countryside and we have no lighting on the majority of the roads and we get cattle and dogs and cats and, <laughs> and chickens running out in front of me so I practice my emergency stops all the time. Five minutes later. But the main thing is I want to be able to see the road way ahead of me so I can prepare myself for hopefully not what's going to be a collision but a control braking. So I fitted my choice some Denali D4s, some Denali D1s down on the forks and of course I have my normal daytime running lights and also with the standard flasher as well. But why don't we turn these lights on so you can see what a difference even in daytime having these auxiliary lights on during the day not on full beam is for your visibility as a rider to other traffic and pedestrians on the road all right so i mentioned i'm going to turn on now the lights so you get a good idea about just uh, what kind of luminal we're going to get from this during daylight hours later on i'll be showing you what it's like at night so you can see the true, true flood and the true vision coming from the lights. But it's as simple as using the Denali dial dim switch. So all I do is push twice to give me power now to my lights, but my lights are not on yet. Now this one controller is controlling four separate lights or two circuits. So why don't I start with the first circuit, which is going to be my amber lights which is my preferred lights for riding at night so how does this look to you when i bring those up can you see that i think you can definitely see that how about if i go and turn on these lights as well do you think i'm going to be seen during the day <laughs> absolutely Visibility is extremely high. Do I need to have these on during the day? Well, through my years of riding and experience, I found that, yes, having the extra lights really does draw attention to you as a rider, not just with your big bright helmet, your nice illuminated jacket, but also they see a bike coming from some distance. But of course, I want to turn them down to a level which is not going to be too blinding for oncoming traffic whether it be during the day or during the night i can adjust that on the go on the fly with the dial dim controller i have at my fingertips here on the bike uh will you please repeat it so here we go we're going to set off on a trial now and see what the difference is of riding on regular running lights and then additional lights Wow. Have the Denali D1s on the forks on and the Denali D4s, the amber on at the same time and you should be able to see an incredible difference. Don't forget when you stop, both feet on the ground. So there you've seen bikes coming towards you once with daytime running lights and also with the auxiliary lights which are placed on this particular bike which definitely gives the bike a much larger footprint during the day or during the night so of course it's your choice my choice is i want to be seen but hopefully your choice is the same it's a small investment with a big return 
All right, let's power these lights on so you can actually see down the street how much visibility it's going to give you in depth using auxiliary lights on a country lane, which is here. It does have some solar lighting, but um, you're going to see a huge difference anyway. So let's turn them on. Well, I think that speaks for itself. Um, I can see 200 meters. If the road ever had a bend, I can probably see 250 meters, maybe 300 meters ahead of me. And that makes a huge difference when I'm getting ready to make a stop or something's out in the road in front of me, which I would not have seen using conventional running lights of the bike or even using, if I turn this off, or even just using high beam. That just shows you the difference in the lighting of the bike. Anyway, I hope that this, is, this video was useful. Um, there's many, many lights on the market. Denali is my choice. That's what I prefer. I have them on my rear for my brake light. As an additional brake light, the D7 works effectively so I don't get um, rear-ended by a vehicle which is a little bit sleepy. It has a breaker in there which also creates it to flash after the initial brake. So I think I'm pretty good to go. So the test that I just gave you showing the normal daytime running lights and also the normal high beam lights of that GSX 1000 GT. Well, it could be a, a bicycle coming towards you at night. I mean, you can't tell the difference. There's just one light which is actually on. But with the auxiliary lights, you'll see the difference in the size of the footprint and also the throw of the light, which gave me up to 250 meters of light ahead of me when I'm on country lanes. Of course, I could adjust the intensity of the light with the dial dip, dip switch from Denali. I'm not going to blind the traffic coming towards me, but when I need the lights, I can turn them as bright as I like, or I can have them on during the day just enough so I have all lights present and the large footprint. It makes a big difference to me, and I hope it makes a big difference to you. This is Steve from RWB Moto. Ciao, ciao for now. See you on the road. Stay safe, and I hope you like the tips.